Hey guys, welcome back. I'm doing another review on one of my personal favourite SNES games. It's one of my favourite genres of all time. It, I love the video games, I love the movies, and this one is Sunset Riders. Now, Sunset Riders is a side-scrolling run-and-gun shooter and it was made by Konami. The game was originally an arcade game ported to both the Sega Mega Drive or the Genesis in 1992 and for the Super Nintendo in 1993. The Mega Drive version was very different from the arcade original. Only two of the four characters are featured and four of the eight stages are in it. While the Super Nintendo had all four characters, all stages but some parts were censored. In the game, it's a one hit, lose a life type system, so make sure to be aware of everything that's surrounding you. Sunset Riders has four playable characters, Steve, Billy, Bob and Kumano. Steve and Billy have revolvers, while Bob has a rifle and Kumano uses a shotgun. The rifle and the shotgun have a slow firing rate but fire multiple bullets in a spread. The revolvers only shoot one bullet at a time, but the bullets fire at a fast rate, so all characters have their strengths and weaknesses. Every level is different in this game. The game has great level design from climbing on balconies, riding horses, rope climbing, intense boss battles, riding trains, climbing mountains, all to claim rewards given for eliminating the most wanted outlaws in the west. The game can get a bit full on at times. Bullets flying at you, enemies running to kill you at every corner. Not to mention all the Molotov cocktails thrown at you. Sometimes you feel like you'll need a bulletproof vest just to survive the game. There are bonus stages throughout this game that will reward you with money. Having enough cash can reward you with extra lives. You get power-ups during the game by entering saloons and houses. The power-ups can get you rapid fire or dual fire in the game depending on which character you use. Marry me with my money. I recommend checking this game out. It's lots of fun and plays similar to Probotector or Contra. It's a lot of fun playing it one player or two. I hope you enjoyed the video and please give it a like and share. And if you want, you can subscribe also. There's more to come.